Hey guys, this is Ruby as always, and welcome back to the Tech World 2 FTV Let's Play. So, uh, last episode, guys, we set up a uh, different power system. So, if we come over here, and also I turned the option off that when I go down this, if you guys didn't notice, I was losing XP this whole time when I was going up and down this. So, I actually turned that off. Uh, I don't know, convenience factor. So yay to open blocks for making that configurable. So I turned this off for now just so we don't drain any more lava than we need. And I wish I knew how much power this generated. Like if I could just... Ah, 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 ow. Jeez. If I could just see what that generates. Um, like if we look here. Energy stored. It doesn't really tell us anything. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, something cool I mentioned last episode, actually, is uh, lighting up our base using this lava. I think that would be pretty cool. So if we go ahead and we stick these here, we're going to get a bunch of fluid ducts. And I don't think this is even going to be enough, but I figured it'd be something cool to try at least for now. So if we just come up here, ooh, that, that noise is probably going to get annoying. So if we just put these all up here, and then hopefully we can eliminate the uh, all the torches we have in here. So if we just boop, 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 boop. And something that we were supposed to do last episode, but I totally forgot, was uh, we were going to do a world download for this world we're playing in here. So uh, that's what we're going to do this episode. I'm going to go ahead and release that. It's going to be uh, down in the comments of this video, or not in the comments, in the uh, description of this video. So if you guys would be interested in seeing that kind of stuff. Oh crap, hold on. We can't have it be sending oil. Huh, okay, well maybe if we put lava in here first. What is that, semi-fluid generator? Yeah. So if we come down here, and let's just grab this puppy real quick. Thank you. And let's come up here. And let's just come right here. And let's put that on low. And that should receive fluid, right? Or am I going to have to wrench this like that? No. Hmm. Maybe it needs a redstone signal. So if we just break this real quick. Do that, and then, eh, eh, wrench that, and crap, where are my levers? <laughs> uh, levers, there we go, and if we come up here, and do that, what's that do for us? Does that do anything for us at all? Doesn't look like it. Why don't you work? Doesn't look like I did. Hmm. And this is sending. Let's go see. Maybe something changed. And hey, it worked. Huh. I wonder what was going on. Maybe it bugged out or something? Holy crap, that sent lava really quickly all around. Alright, and we take this back. We put that there. Now, if we take these out and take these and break these. Is it raining now? Jeez. There we go. So now we don't have any extra light in here. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed my uh, record button. Oh, so see, we got a little bit of darkness right here where stuff could spawn. Oh, that stinks. So, yeah, that isn't enough light, but that looks really cool. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's cool. But uh, hmm, I wonder what we can do about this. Because we definitely need light in here. Maybe we could hide something like right here. 
Hmm. Do I have any... Oh, crap. We got a bunch in here, too. We've never had a problem with mobs spawning in here, though. Oh, yeah. They can spawn everywhere. Hmm. Maybe that won't be such a bad thing. We just won't look at it. <laughs> I don't know. It is pretty dark in here, though. Look at all the freaking torches we have in here, and they can't even light up right here. That's crazy. Oh, well. What are you going to do? So, uh, I'm just going to cut real fast, guys. I'm going to finish these rooms off. I probably am going to have to make more fluid ducks. I most certainly am. Uh, and how much obsidian do I have? Not that much. Uh, that stinks. <laughs> so, uh, oh, what am I doing? Wrong, wrong one. Yeah, let's just put a wrench in there to stop it from cooking it. If, if it can even cook this pulverized. Can you? I don't think you can. No, you can't. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut real fast, guys. I'm probably... You know what? Let's go ahead and do this. We need some obsidian. So what we're going to make is a... Uh, 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 forgot wrong one. Ig igneous extruder. No. Am I in cheat mode? No, I'm not. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's see. This takes some stuff. <laughs> Such great description. Good job. All right, put that in there, and then what's this take? Put that in there. I don't use steel. Jesus. Okay, so now you should be able to make this, right? Yeah, you can. Okay, great. <laughs> so what an igneous extruder does is you can set it to cobble, stone, or obsidian. Now, cobble, you can just supply it with one bucket of water and one bucket of lava, and it'll make it infinitely. But if you're going to do stone or obsidian, it actually uh, keeps taking juice from it. Where's our... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, where's our, uh, our wrench? We're going to have to put something else in here. Uh, you hold that. Okay, you're not going to smelt that, are you? Okay, good. <laughs> I need to get something else to just put there for those kind of things. So, what I want to do real quick is I want to set up... Yeah, right you right there. And you're going to go right here. What are you again? Okay, yeah, that's what you are. So this is going to be your input, and you're just going to get lava like that, right? And now we need an aqueous accumulator, and give me some fluid dukes. Do I not have any? Okay, yeah, I have some. And give me some water. No, give me some bucket. There we go. Give me a dose of them babies. And let's go. Get some water, some H2O, some high quality H2O, and give me some, give me some blocks. There we go. So, bah, 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 Oop. and bah, right? Yeah. So you're gonna go right there, and then you're gonna go right there. You're gonna go right there. And then you, buddy, you're going to come. Not right there, please. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best place for this. Take that, take that. And let's get these two. And let's put one right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we'll put water bucket, water, whoop, water bucket. And then aqueous accumulator and then fluid duck crap how, how do I uh... okay we'll bring you right here there we go so now this will start making obsidian for us yes yes aha obsidian so that takes a little bit <laughs> of course so I really need to move this over Okay, maybe this wasn't the best setup. <laughs> you know, I never claim to be a professional at FTB. You guys just assume I am. Or at least some of you do. Uh, I'm not that good. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to go right cha right cha And yeah, yeah, right there. Okay, and I need a chest. Chest. And you're going to go right here. And this is going to be your output. Yes? No. 
Yes. Great job. Okay, so now give me this and bloop, 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 bloop. All right. And you need to... Can I put water in your face? I don't know if I can put water in your face. We're going to find out. So, okay, I need blocks. Come here. Come to daddy. Okay, so we're going to need one right here. And then one right here and one right here. Not right there. Come to me. There we go. And let's put our aqueous accumulator here. Bucket. Bucket. And then fluid dick and now here's the question can I put water in here why is that doing that is this messing everything up that's messing everything up You just go like that. Are you getting water? You're not getting water. Okay. Crap. Stop turning. If I would just stop clicking on it with the wrench in my hand, that'd be great. Okay, that's going to be your input. That's going to be your output. And then you have a blue thing on the bottom of you, don't you? What? There's already water here. What was I doing? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I got you. There we go. And wata. And you're going to start making obsidian, not cobble. And uh, there we go. So this will take a bucket each time, I believe. Uh, something like that, yeah. And it'll keep making us obsidian. <laughs> so it's kind of a ghetto setup right now, but we're going to need a bit more obsidian. So I'm going to just let this run for a couple minutes. I mean, we practically have infinite lava regardless. And, uh, yeah, then I'll cut back with you guys. Hey, guys, welcome back. So uh, our little obsidian thing is done. Uh, so, yeah, I went ahead and I brought these all over here into these rooms, the middle room and this one. Now this one's got a little divider, so this one doesn't go all the way across, but when you're down here you really can't like tell, like it doesn't look bad or anything, and of course it's not doing a whole lot for this room, because if we look it's still, if anything, it's actually larger where mobs could spawn, <laughs> but I don't know, I think it looks cool, it adds something interesting, and also as you can tell, uh, that oil line isn't running across our roof anymore, uh, I actually ran that under the base, if we come over here, uh, and you'll notice something else is missing, <laughs> is uh, I ran this under here, and I got rid of those ender lilies. I've literally maybe gotten three ender pearls from that since I set it up, and it's just so annoying every time I come over here and I get pricked or something, so uh, so I got rid of those. I'll just go to the end if I want to farm stuff again. Uh, can we sleep? Yes, we can. <clears throat> um, ooh, my mic might have been a little bit off. <laughs> Uh, let's see, because it gets like right in the way of one of my monitors. Uh, uh, not in the lava. So, uh, and it's also not running out here anymore. We actually need to, yeah, build. Switch this to a full one. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, it just comes up and then it just runs under the grass here, uh, down below the base. So that's all. That's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so let's come back over here to the oil uh, world and we'll put this back here and we'll just get that filling back up with with larva and don't I have an extra barrel I think I have an extra barrel don't I I sure do or an extra drum whatever <laughs> you guys know what I meant so if we come back yeah yeah oh dang it I was hoping we could get it. Uh, let's just do it like that. There we go. So those will get filling back up with oil. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's do our our, <laughs> our per episode check on the quarry and get disappointed that it isn't done yet. So uh, it's gotten a bit further. I haven't been doing too too much off camera, so it hasn't been running that much. And honestly, with the way that that tesseract was messed up, I don't know if my chunk loads messed up 
So I'm not even sure if this was running this whole time we've been on here, because this doesn't look like it's been much further down. Or maybe I'll review the tape <laughs> and see. So yeah, we haven't gotten that many quarries done yet. Oh, we're not going to make that. Okay, there we go. So how are we doing? How are we doing? A couple stacks of ores. Fluorite. That kind of cool stuff. Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, what I want to work on next episode, guys, is I want to make a sword. Uh, but I don't want to just make like a regular old iron sword or something. Uh, I actually want to make the... Uh, if we look up a sword... I want to make one of these Tinker Constructs one. Now here's the uh, Athemist, or Athemist, whatever. I don't think I've even seen this ore in our game yet. Uh, it says it comes from Biomes of Plenty. But <laughs> I don't really know where to get this from. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's just not in the game or or what, but I don't know. But I want to make like a Cobalt one or... Or something kind of like that. I don't think I can click on these. Nope. Oh, I can certainly give myself one. Really? No. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what I'm going to work on uh, a little bit off camera is uh, getting some of these resources together for what we need to mine cobalt. I think we need like a couple other different kind of ores. But I'm going to go ahead and work on that, guys, and uh, we'll cut back to you. All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, I have all of our stuff prepared. So it was Illuminite. That was the word I was looking for. Totally forgot it. Give me this. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to make up all that freaking experience I lost in the freaking elevator over there. Uh, <laughs> so Illuminite is made uh, from iron, obsidian, and aluminum. And I think you need like five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian to make one ingot of Illuminite. So here we have it selected. So if we go ahead and hit, oh, go ahead and hit it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, I have all the stuff we need for a pick here. So we can just let it drain out real quick. I just did this so we can speed it up. We're running a little bit long, uh, at least from my uh, timer. Uh, I'm probably going to cut some of that stuff out <laughs> from the... Uh, uh, what's going on here? There we go. Aha! There we go. So I don't know if we're gonna put any uh how many how much how much, how much thing you got? It doesn't tell me. How much uh how much durability does this have? Seven hundred? If I put that in there, five sixty five. Okay, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just use this for cobalt at least. Um so that'll at least get us cobalt and we don't have to use it for anything else. because uh, we can always make like a cobalt pick or something, uh after we can actually mine it. So That'll be be very nice. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. Everything's just falling apart, guys. Oh, and I brought all my stuff with me. All right, let's not die, please. <gasps> Uh-oh. He blew up my portal. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. I got iron on me. Hold on. Let's go take care of this before anything. Or some gravel around you. Yeah. Gravel. All right, let's go test this out real quick. Oh, look at that. It's so magical. That is great. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's even more over here. See, for some reason, I'm seeing a lot more of it than I've seen other people. Like, I've seen, uh, who is it? Some of the people on the Minecraft server, they have to go, like, searching for it hard to find it. And it's, like, everywhere in my nether for some reason. I guess it's because I used the uh, biomes of plenty uh, generation and not just regular uh, minecraft generation hmm where's some gravel where's some gravel guy you know where some gravel's at there's gotta be there's some so we just need one piece of flint thank you <laughs> I would have been real mad if we would have got stuck in the nether and I had to I had to kill myself or something. Is this what does this do? Anything? Hmm, cool. Alright, so we need just a little bit more cobalt. If I can just get a couple of ingots of it, we can make a cool pick with it. So let's see. Oh, here's some. There we 
go. Freaking stuck in the air. Come on, just a little bit more. Cause we're just awesome. This pick's actually pretty quick itself. And it's not even cobalt. Hmm. There's gotta be a little bit more around in here, right? And here we go. So, uh, I've been, whoa, oh, geez, where am I at? No. <laughs> I've been uh, flying around a bit, looking around, getting a bunch of cobalt. I also found some of this Ardite. And apparently, I think, I think this stuff is good, too. Because I saw somebody getting it at one point in that video. So, I guess if they were getting it, it's worth something. But then again, hey, I still pick up iron ore. So, <laughs> and I have lots of that. So, uh, and I, oh, crap. I gotta put those heat plates back on. <laughs> At least when I'm gonna be ro ro roaming around in the nether. Uh, and by the way, me being my portal being locked doesn't matter. <laughs> totally have a book to get out of here regardless. <laughs> so uh, so now we got this cobalt. So if we go ahead and can we just throw it in there like that? Oh yeah, we can. Apparently, I guess this this bubby this. this this thing chock full of cobalt. And then we still got eight extra. So, and I guess we're going to make a pick out of this too. I think that'll be the most sensible thing to do. Let's go ahead and drop some stuff off in the ME system while that's going. So, the blaze rod, obsidian, that, 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 and that, and that. Cool. So, uh, yeah, this little pick did its job. Very nice. And it's uh, barely damaged, if anything. Because <laughs> we did only mine, like, what, 25 blocks or so with it? So it wasn't that much. But, uh, see, how come all of these are so far ahead, but then this one's not? What's up with that? Is that just, like, the maximum we can do at once? I don't know. Why would I have all these slots if that was the maximum? Uh, who knows? You guys will let me know about that. I know y'all will. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Holy crap, we got a bunch of cobalt now. 34 ingots? Cool. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and set that to, uh, oh, I need paper. We're going to do a paper binding on it. So that's two, three, thank you. I don't know where that, and we might even make a, is it starts, is it smart to make a sword out of cobalt? I don't know, you guys will let me know. Wow, so do I have a crafting table in here? I sure don't. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and make some uh, paper. And if we come on over here, and let's put this cool stuff in here. And whoa! Cobalt. Uh, so there we go. Let's get a cobalt one of these things. Cobalt pickaxe head. And then the paper binding we're going to make not in here. So let's go ahead and throw this stuff in here. I need you. And then you come to this thing, not you, this thing. And now I have a paper binding like that. So then I can do this, and I can do that, and that, uh, uh, and that. There we go. <laughs> so mining speed, 11. If we were to look at this one, it's mining speed is actually faster. What? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I just need to put a bunch of redstone on it. Uh, so let's throw this in here. Oh, I already had paper in there. Whoops. So uh, I just went there to go look for redstone. Because <laughs> that's where my stuff's been for so long. And let's get a... How many modifiers did we have? Okay, what are all the modifiers? So if we put this in here, and we got three more modifiers. And then this will be two. So then if we put this here, that'll be haste. What all what all modifiers is there? Tinker's construct modifiers pick. We'll go with that. Cause I know there's a there's a couple. So emerald increases the durability by fifty percent. Redstone increases the mining speed. Ball of moss uh, automatically repairs it. Lava Crystal will do auto smelting. That's not bad. Lapis will luck the tool. Nether Quartz is sharpness for weapons. Oh, okay, cool. So if we do one more modifier of redstone, then, no, we want to do a lot of Lapis, too. I mean, this is already at 14. 
Let's just let's just max it out at fifty. And then that'll be fifty. Okay, and now we're gonna get lapis. So boop boop boop. Lapis. Clear that. Let's just get as many lapis blocks as we can. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and grab these. And how much luck is this going to give us? Not that much, right? No. So would it even be worth it doing it to that pick? That's the question. Because I wouldn't even be able to get uh, I wouldn't be able to get luck or fortune two. So it's got one modifier remaining. So I almost think I should put more. Uh, put more haste on it because then I'll just get a fortune pick, right? And this will just be a super quick one. So let's get some more redstone. And let's put you in here. Unless I shouldn't just do the. Uh... Oh, come on, just let me do stuff. Come on. Oh, it's still got one more modifier. Okay. I'm so confused by this stuff. So if we just put a bunch of redstone... Oops. In here. So what, you already maxed out again? And now if we... Max you out at 100. And then we put more redstone. One more block. And then that's it. This thing is maxed out. So what's it might what's its mining speed? Twenty-three over eleven. Wow. So if we take a look at this thing, if we wanna say Oh yeah, you can uh you can chill out. Okay, you're chilled out. I set it back up again because <laughs> I uh I ran out of obsidian. <laughs> I used it all in making these fluid ducts and then uh, didn't keep any. So if I was to, I don't know, want to break some stuff, how would we do that? Uh, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's so quick. Oh, it's so quick. Look at that. That's nice. There we go. Let's get out of here. That's pretty quick. Hey, I'm happy. So uh, so maybe next episode, guys, if you want to go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. But what should I make my uh, what should I make my sword out of? Should I make it out of cobalt as well? I mean, we got lots. <laughs> we got 50 freaking ingots of cobalt. We got so much cobalt. Or maybe I should make it out of this Ardite stuff? Ah, I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. So definitely let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you got anything else cool, I should check out in... Uh... Well, it's got Fortune 3 now, huh? Wait, doesn't this just need more lapis? Okay, well, I'm getting off on a tangent. But uh, So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you have any suggestions, especially anything we should check out next episode for this Tinker's Construct stuff, uh, definitely leave it down in the comments. And uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, likes and such are very much appreciated, and I'll see you guys next time.